A common target for atheists and even Catholics of Protestant denominations is that of the speaking in tons that can be found in the charismatic movement. Their claim is that they are filled with the Holy Spirit and are as the apostles on the day of Pentecost. One only has to know six chapters that directly addresses the speaking of tons, Acts 2, 10, 19, and 1 Corinthians 12, 14, in order to realize that this came to an end in the early church. Here are some verses to consider. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 8. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tons, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 22. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 22. Wherefore tons are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying serveth not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. Here we see that of the gifts of the Spirit, tons will cease. The Jews require a sign, and tons are for a sign. The requirement of a sign can be traced all the way back to Moses, when he came to rescue the Israelites from Egypt as their prophet. Deuteronomy 13 verses 1 to 5 shows that prophets will come with signs, but are called to resist false prophets who will come in the name of other gods. Tongues, as demonstrated in the New Testament, could be understood in other languages. List detailed in Acts 2 verse 9 to 11, and was prophesied in Isaiah 28 verse 11 to 12 as a sign that would not be received. Some use James 2 verse 26 to pressure those into partaking in the charismatic ritual, but it states that faith without works is dead, and not faith without signs. More posts will be provided on this topic.